Australian Special Forces soldiers could soon be deployed to the southern Philippines to help in the fight against Islamic militants. Any support would be in a non-combat role, but there are fears an increased presence could make Australia a greater target for jihadis. Here's defence reporter Andrew Green. On Australia's doorstep, a brutal conflict is dragging into a fourth month. The fighting's reminiscent of the Middle East, but this battle isn't Syria or Iraq, it's taking place in the southern Philippines. In Mindanao, Filipino security forces have been locked in fierce street battles since May against jihadists trying to establish an Asian caliphate headquartered in the city of Marawi. The fact that ISIS now has a presence in southern Philippines is deeply concerning. RAAF Orion planes are already running surveillance in support of airstrikes on terror strongholds. But the deepening crisis has Australian officials increasingly nervous. The foreign ministers now revealed she offered more military support earlier this month during a meeting with controversial President Rodrigo Duterte. We've offered to assist in any way that might add to the likelihood of defeating this scourge in the southern Philippines. Any further Australian contribution would likely come from Special Forces soldiers in an advise and assist role. Let's see what exactly has been asked for and what exactly uh, the trainers would be required to do. So we'd like to see the detail first. I think that's sensible. So far there's been no formal request from the Philippines but military planning here is well advanced. That's because senior officials fear the porous borders to the north could either easily allow foreign Islamic State fighters to return to Southeast Asia, posing a very direct threat to Australians. However, some believe an increased Australian role could also spark more Islamic State threats. The last thing we want is for this to be seen to be about Australia. That would be like moths to a flame for the jihadists. A warning jihadists have recently telegraphed in propaganda. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.